Have you seen one of our millennial money videos? No, she doesn't you know, know anything it's about it's this. That you haven't seen it. I live in Pasadena, California, so it's definitely not in like the LA area. You have to drive out here. All I know is she's making 80,000 a year and driving a BMW. Really? That's an expensive car to drive at $80,000 a year in California. Just saying. So I normally don't eat out, but when I do, I like to go to places like Chick-fil-A. I don't know. I love eating out as well, but Taco Bell is my favorite, just so you Fabulous that she doesn't have any student loan debt. Go, Wendy! This is a monkey. Hello. I actually wake up pretty early. Uh, around 3.30 to 3.45 to start my class at 4 a.m. You know, you do get tired and it's hard to stay focused during the day, but I think that as someone who has a goal to invest money and save money, I'm definitely sacrificing my sleep right now so I can build my investment and savings account. Love this woman. She's saving money, she's working, she's doing everything, and she's making coffee at home. I love you, Wendy. I drive a BMW and I love my car, but I hate the monthly payment. I'm currently paying $720. Wendy, I thought you were so smart. I take everything I said back. What? I regret buying the BMW because it is a nice car, it drives amazing, it looks great, but I don't really need that type of car in my life. All right, Wendy, write that lesson down. Put it on your refrigerator so you never, ever forget it. What you deserve is a life of financial independence, not some car. Don't ever forget that lesson. You know, I, I tend to be more on the conservative side when it comes to money, and he's more on like, you know, you only live once, so do the things that make you happy. Wendy, warning, warning. I would make sure that you have your own checking account, your own money, everything is absolutely separate because you don't want to come home one day and all of a sudden see, oh, the money in our joint checking account was spent on something because Chris just wants to do whatever he wants to do. Be very careful here, my friend. I don't like the fact that he just thinks you can do whatever you want. Not good. I think I have beginner's luck, but I honestly don't know if it was like my timing, but I started investing back in like late December, early January. That's when I like initially started opening up different positions and my account is almost at $20,000 and my initial investment was a total of $14,000. I'd like to know what your account is right now after the market just went down seven or 8%. Yes, girlfriend, it was luck. Trust me, everything went straight up, then everything started to come down, and you're probably back to $14,000 now, so learn from this experience. We would love to go to Europe together next year in the summer, so hopefully we get to do that for free, or if not, at least for like half the cost with some points. There is no way for you to go totally for free on your American Express points. Your hotel, your food, everything, you're going to spend money. You cannot afford to spend any money. You have almost an $800 a month car payment. Can you forget the traveling and can you pay off the car payment? Then you can really go somewhere. The goal is to actually make roughly $95,000 a year. I think with that, I'll be able to maximize my savings for my future home. It's not about making more money. It's making more out of the money that you already make by owing less on your expenses. And why limit yourself to $95,000 a year, really? Overall, here's the bottom line. You have drive, you have ability, you are smart, you are intelligent, but you're not making the wisest decisions with your money. So just be careful. You still have a lot to learn, and I know you have what it takes to learn it.